Hiya, welcome, I'm Tamusas, and let's get serious. Yeah! Today, we're talking about Precognition. It's a PvP talent, and you can only select three PvP talents in World of Warcraft. So if you've already got Precognition as a selection, guess what, you only get two. Whereas some classes, particularly some healers perhaps, don't even need to select it. Now, they intend in 10.1 to make it so that Precognition is no longer on that list of PvP talents. Which will mean that you're able to pick a different PvP talent, and will potentially make you stronger. They want to make it into an optional regent. And that sounds like a good idea on paper. The reason for doing this is because in 10.1, they'd like healers to be less challenging to play. I believe that Blizzard reckons it's too hard to heal, Alliance. It is too hard to heal and wield the lights. Now that's fair enough. Fair enough. But will precognition be the answer to all of our prayers? I don't think it will be. I really don't. But, in this video I'm going to show you the power of precognition, and we're going to talk about exactly that. Let's get into it. Here we go! This is my last resort, look around the corner, please, I'm healing, bowling up, pulling to gathering. Oh! Here I'm having a grand time, I'm pulling, oh, draw swords, sword. kick, kick the guy, miss! Dag Nemesis. Now he's got free casting, and my warlock misses his massive, kicks too, so that's two kicks for the one fake the cast. I'm in a full sheet, and that can Maybe literally change the state of affairs in a game. Come back, come back, come back. Dude, what are the heals on Retri like, man? Did you see that? In the last game, you saw how it can be so easily turned around. If you miss a kick, Precognition can turn a game around. In this scenario, we're talking about interrupt stacking. Now, stacking interrupts is a separate problem. If two people are in the fight, one kicks, the other kicks two, but it's too late, Precognition occurs. And that's dangerous. That is dangerous. You can also just do a cast that you don't care about, like Ring of Fire, right? Just to try to play for that. Next one, he jukes us. Like he moves last minute. Juke. Missed the kick. Yeah, he gets the kick. precognition, that's and he guns out those unstable effects. Oh my yeah. goodness! We are melting alive. But he still recovered. The light wields it. CC holds it too, right? So this guy's ready. This retri's ready. Look. But the guy fears it, and the retri kicks at the same time. Boom! See that? Yeah, so that means he missed the kick, because the fear halts the spell. Now, if they wanted to, they could couple up a precognition with any of these interrupt immunity spells on the list, which means that they'd have a long period of interrupt immunity. Now, that's not really a massive deal, because the thing that stops you as a caster, or as a healer, is the stuns. The stuns are three second CCs, the kind of crowd control that you just can see coming, but sometimes forget about, right at the end of your cast, there it is, ruined your day. So do I think it's overpowered that they've got the precognition coming in as an optional region and you can couple it with these abilities? No, because none of these abilities have CC immunity. So if the change is just to make healing easier, there are two classes in the game, Holy Paladin and Miss with Monk, that actually have specs specifically, which will reduce the number of casts that you need to do within a game. So as a Paladin, if you pick Avenging Crusader, you can charge in there and pump Crusader Strikes and throw judgments of glory to heal your allies. If you're a monk, you can go Wah! and you can kick him like Jet Li and it will heal the team. Now they're not gonna get much of a benefit from precognition compared to say a holy priest. So how are they gonna balance things around that? Are they gonna tweak these specs and make them weaker? Is it gonna be less viable to be a melee wings paladin and to be a fist weaving monk? I hope not. So why is precognition needed, eh? What's the big deal? Why do we need this to become an optional region instead of having it as one of the PvP talents? Well, there's only three to select from, and if we do make it an optional region, then it will mean that, guess what, you can pick another one of those glorious PvP talents. This could be game-changing for some classes. Now, I think Precognition is very strong for Wizards as well, especially like Chaos Bolting Warlocks. So that's why I put in this list that I don't think they're only changing this to help healers. I think they're also going to be changing it and keeping it in the game nice and firm so that casters can have it too. Now, melee, they do quote-unquote have it easy. I'm going to say it. Please don't be offended. To an extent, they have it easy, all right? Because they can go in, they can do their damage. They don't need to look to create a window where they can cast. They don't have to cast anything. So, of course, you can get rooted and get CC'd. You need to plan your cooldowns around that. But as a Warlock, for example, you have to have a defensive plan, an offensive plan, and within that, you still have to make sure that you find the time to cast. So abilities like Precognition, they really do make the game a lot more easier because you can get an accidental mistake from an enemy team that will turn into your window. 
and that makes it easier for new players. I imagine that's why they're doing it, but we're going to see in the next patch as to whether they actually allow wizards to use it, especially considering their reasons for making the change and putting precondition into an optional region was to make sure that healers had a less challenging experience in PvP. What I would do if I was changing precognition for the better, I would go along these lines. Now I've made an example of what I would call precognition. Interrupts and CC effects would grant like a stack of precognition. And upon reaching four stacks, you would have an ability like a buff on your rack that you could actually cast, like an extra action button within a raid so that you could then choose the window and put it in there. So then it feels less accidental, right? Less accidental, less sort of like, oh, I randomly got lucky because he played bad, he interrupted when he shouldn't have, now I've won the game. Now I think there's fun on that to that side of it as well, but I also think like it, it gives you less of an incentive to consistently try to fake cast. Because if you've already got that stack of precognition on your buff, you've got it there ready to use, you can't have more than one stack, right? Because what's happening, I think, at the moment with precondition is people are trying all games to try and get these precondition stacks. And it just becomes a bit silly sometimes, I think. That's my personal opinion. Because don't forget, things like ping come into play as well. You know, how fast your internet is. If you go for an interrupt and you miss it because the guy stops casting, then that can be very frustrating, especially if you've got really bad internet. And again, the person gaining the precondition there hasn't got it due to their skill, right? Not, it's not their skill. They got lucky. Let's just say, for example, they got lucky there, but their opponent had bad internet. And even the person doing that doesn't really want to do that. So I think with the way I would change it would be as above. And uh, that would mean that, yeah, it can happen, but it's not something that you're consistently fishing for. If you got a good idea as well, then do go ahead and whack it in the comments if you'd like to. Let's get it started, Lions. Let's get this game better, right? New season. Let's get them. If you did enjoy the video, then I've also got a stream and I'm streaming there regularly. Lions All those people that are watching this video that come in there and give me a yes. rally. I appreciate it for Woo. the Alliance. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much. Remember, good prevails.